thing, like a shackle here. And we got him. Disarm Demon Hunter here. Drop the Shaman. <laughs> Alrighty. Stun both these. Drop here. Kill the warrior. <laughs> I'm gonna shackle here, I think. Nice. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical Team bringing you some Miss Weaver Shadow Play with Roxy Bolts and Venruki, two insane players. And I just want to go over like my talents and like how you play Shadow Play. So first of all, Shadow Play <clears throat> is really good because you could just survive. You're playing with a really good Affliction Warlock, which Roxy is insane, and you're playing with a really good Shadow Priest, which Venruki obviously is insane. Um, they're both able to keep themselves alive, kite long enough, trade the cooldowns. Where if I'm stuck in crowd control. I don't have to worry too much. I come out of crowd control and I can just heal. Another bonus about playing with casters is that they eat interrupts and then I can free cast. So if you're playing against some kind of caster team, most of the time they use their interrupts on my teammates and that way they don't interrupt me, which is even better. So with, with shadow play, if you're playing with casters in general, it's actually a lot easy if you're the Mistweaver. You just want to keep them alive. That's it. You just want to keep your team alive, stay in the back, heal them trade cooldowns you definitely don't want to overlap but if you're playing with an affliction warlock shadow priest ellie shaman boomy you don't want to use your paralysis the reason for this is because when you paralysis all of the dots on the target go away so you do not want to paralysis at all and you don't even need to push him for leg sweep but if, if honestly if you're in the position to get a leg sweep you'll see in one of the games where i get triple leg sweep Obviously, that's an ideal time to use it, but you don't need to push in to use like sweep. If, like if you're playing with a melee cleave, you don't have to. It's just a good. It's just nice to be able to do it when you can. My conduits on this alt aren't that high. They're mostly 200 item level, but I am playing bone marrow hops, resplendent mist, and nourishing chi. And my talents do change depending on what I'm carrying into. But for the most part, you see melee cleaves today, which I play eminence, peace weaver, grapple weapon. If it's if it's not a demon hunter, you can also, instead of Peace Weaver, you can go with Zen Focus T if you think they're going to train you. But that's the only difference I would make. I was a little nervous the first few games because uh, I literally watch Venruki every day. And I, like, I'm a huge fan. Like, yeah, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer questions you might have. And that's it for me. I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. DH Warrior. So... Probably won't try to kill me. They'll probably just go my Shadow Priest the whole time. Stunned. Playing Peace Weaver though. I got the Druid out there as well. Putting Hots out here. I'm just gonna... I was gonna try to stun, but I guess I could stun everything. Yeah, triple stun there. Spell the Soul Rot. I'm so used to dispelling Soul Rot, but it's actually... Uh, ugh, I can't... Actually, I can wrap that. Oh, that was Ennis from the Druid. Yeah, you can actually rob the new Druid talent that, like, I don't know, makes them immune to everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to set up a thing, like a shackle here. And we got him. Yeah, not bad. All right, Booming Demon Hunter. I actually don't know what to run for this third town. I'd like Zen Focus T versus this because it's also a Shaman, but Grapple Weapon or Chrysalis is kind of what I'm torn between. I think Peace Weaver lines up with the Hunt pretty well. So I think I'm gonna go Demon Hunter for, I'm gonna go Disarm for the Demon Hunter damage. Um, I don't think I need Eminence versus this. So that's why I'm not playing it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fleshcraft here in the opener for the bigger shield. And uh, I feel like kill target's probably the demon hunter. I can also stun, so I want to spell as much as I can because um, there's a conduit that like increases your damage. Stunned, uh, revival everything. Sun focus T here as well. Stun that cyclone. Oh, I tried. It must be lagging. Disarm demon hunter here. Drop the shaman. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. I think I like Eminence versus Peace Weaver. Like, I might go Grapple Weapon. I think on this map, I could just jump down and port back up if uh, I need to. But I think the most important thing is playing Disarm. Okay. 
Keep passing roar. Cyclone. Nice sphere on the druid. Shattering throw. He ranged it, which is really good. He's in my line, so I'll heal him. If he ports back up, I get that. Oh, I think he reflected that. That's kind of nutty. Revival here. Just on the warrior. Big healing. Stun both these. Drop here. Kill the warrior. <laughs> Alright, some warrior survival hunter. Which, uh, I know survival hunters are pretty good in twos. I haven't really queued into many of them in threes. Um, Peace Weaver maybe isn't that useful versus this, but it's really good for traps. We'll see. I don't know, I haven't queued into a survival hunter in a good minute here. I mean, it's obviously very important. Uh, looks like they want to go Roxy. He might open with the. I get that root. I'm glad that hex wasn't on me. Bible here. I got him. I'm sheared. I got him. Shattering throw. It's fine. I disarm it. You can disarm shattering throw. All right, we're kind of taking a lot of damage, but ink at this, trying to kill that. I don't know if I could or not though. I'm gonna stay right here. I think I'm home right here. Statue sealing him. He's playing execute. So annoying. Warbreaker. I don't have disarm for it actually, so it kind of uh, is unfortunate. Stunned. I'm gonna shackle here, I think. Nice. 